Right. Yeah, I don't go on Facebook much. Yeah. Uh, what was he? Like Michigan Cannabis Review? And then he would go, uh, Gray Fox? Uh, it's gonna be Michigan Cannabis Review, Turkey Monster, actually. Cannabis. Turp Monster? Is that what you said it's called? Turpy Monster, yeah. Turpy? Like, yep. Like that, that, that right there? Yep. Um, so yeah, this is, um, J. We're doing J. J was a better yielder. It looks like Deadhead when it grows. Actually, it looks like either one. rough at times because I can't tell that had an 18 part mm -hmm. so I have to have people actually taste it for me to tell sometimes if it gets screwed up I think I like these. Both of them. Okay, you want to put this first half in? The last half in? Yeah, sure. We'll catch up with this a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I don't know. It, it was pretty. I'll give you that. But is it better than Deadhead? I don't know yet. That's the thing. Is it got, is it enough to have different qualities that make it worth keeping? There's so much going into it. Because to take up space is, especially if you know people could get sick of it. Yeah, hold on guys, I want you help. I don't care what he says. That does not look healthy for your body. <laughs> but it is. It's just it? ground up vegetables. Yeah, sure. I don't eat vegetables either, so. <laughs> Well, vegetables are good for you. <laughs> What's up, Mike? Or Mike? I eat meat. I eat meat, meat, meat eaters, eat vegetable eaters. Or vegetables. <laughs> you shaking around. That looks so much better now. Well, I, I eat meat. I don't not eat meat. Do you not eat vegetables? I eat vegetables too. I just eat more vegetables. try to eat more vegetables than I do meat. That's all. Where my phone? My computer. Oh, fuck off, dogs. It's not going to be too many nice days out there. Mm. Yeah, you can tell it's kind of, your, your dog kind of looks like a little bit of a bully pit, but not really. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Which one? The little one, right? Isn't it? They're both bullies. He, she's just a she's just a shorter version of a bully. Well, that's a little bully, then. Yeah. I mean, they got some good muscles to them. She is a pocket-sized bully, and he is a standard-sized bully. So he's just taller, and he's like five months older. So that helps.
they have missed things. There's so much fucking more silly to do. That bitch is 130 pounds. He's 10 and a half. Yeah, old. but he's not a. These these guys aren't pits. They're American bullies. They're different. That's what he is. Is American bullies. Oh, then he's a he's a XL. He is a. a what is the fucking two? Half gray line from California, and then what's the mafia one in New York? Gotti. Hmm. Half Gotti. He actually spent like lots of money in him. Oh. Yeah, they're XLs, man. That's a different fucking. He is going to be about 80 pounds, but he's not going to get any bigger than that. He's not going to get to 110. Then he's got two little bulldogs. She will get to about 70 pounds, but she's not going to get any bigger, taller wise. Jesus, dogs fucking sick. Heads as wide as a football. All right, I'm done with this control thing. I'll put it back. Silly ass thing. Ain't working. No, it's working. It's recording there too. <coughs> it's this this one is the w official one. This is just so I can communicate with some people if I need to. Hmm, there we go, dashboard. I mean, the burn could be my fault. The roll, because uh, my rolls sometimes are a little loose and funky. So these are all deadhead OG pants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they grow good, good buds. Yeah. You're not harsh. You're not blunt. You know. Yeah, it's not. It's not harsh, but it's still got some sting. Hmm. It's not horrible. No. It's just like oh, but sometimes you just got to go through a lot of beaners before you start getting the ones you like flavors of and things like that. Yeah, it's, it's not. Gross, right, but though. it's not. As of right now, I don't get anything new. It just tastes like everything else that everyone else has, which is that earthy. Bland, strong, stingy, yeah. Not unique in any way. Not even deadhead. No deadhead. I get a little bit of the OG eighteen in the background now. Hmm. The lemon. Kind of. Yep. Yeah. I have two more that just came down today that he's dealing with in there that are not even are like one of them produced bud like deadhead buds that were as big as this round as this and you know deadhead don't do that mm -hmm. normally like it was but they looked like deadhead still and then the other one was the exact opposite it was small little buds little now buds. i gave a little plant that i started from a beaner two years ago and uh that's what i told him i was like dude it looks just like OG 18, but they're real big, huge, longer buds. You know? So I. He had one that was a good one for selling. Well, but, I'm trying to find something that's my own. I've been growing your deadhead in 18 forever. And I mean, it, I grow it, but at the same time, it's not mine. I didn't find it. It doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but at the same time, I still want one that's mine. Like I had the OG acid and the acid, you know, the A2. Like them or hate them, they were still a flavor that only I had. Ten months, like not nah, it's clogged. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Could be a bad burn, maybe not cured enough. It might have been a little wet then inside. Once the, the smoke started hitting it, it kind of like moistened it up a little. Yeah. One more burp away. God, what a nice day outside compared to how it's been the last week. I know, it's actually quite nice. Once you leave, I'm going to take them back out. Go for another walk. I didn't look like some dude was going to be there. Because I use, over at Chatterton, they have a fucking giant fenced in fucking football soccer field. So I just use that to run. Because it's, it's not being, it doesn't, that's what it's used for. <laughs> it's people take I know their dogs you, uh, there. You get off the freeway over by, like you're going to St. John's Hospital, and you make a right, there's a park that's all fenced in. It's wooded. 
kind of trail and stuff that you can actually walk around and people walk through and run their dogs through that whole area all the time. It's right on the outside of hood, the hood. Heinz Park maybe? Hmm. Fall Duck? Dude, I'd one never go two. east. One of them too. I don't know why. I think it's because there's no disc golf or golf that way. So I'm never to the east. But there is. There's, you're like only like two, a mile and a half from freaking the one place over at uh, Harper and... Yeah, that, that I ain't playing that course. That, that, if what I'm about, gonna play disc golf. I'm what gonna, about the hill by my house? You ever play that one? Yeah, Spindler? I don't know. It's over by Fraser and... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a new I, one. They just put in. Yeah, that one's fun. I just thought I'd ask. It looks just, cool. I, it is cool. It's a, it's a fun course because it has... It has some like shots through some trees, Yo. and then it has a hill shot, and then it actually you have to throw back at the hill and play two shots with a basket <coughs> on the hill, which is really good, and you have an island hole too. I pulled up burning one, and I was sitting here, and I'm like, look at this guy throwing one. Right. I mean, the hole's right here. I think he's gonna throw that like through a little twenty foot hole. Uh -huh. It was a nice little shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or you're smoking your grass. Yup. I mean, it, it's a cool course. I just, it's, I don't know. I don't play as much anymore, and when I do, I usually don't play leagues. Well, I didn't know if you play a lot of those like hilly areas, because that hill's gotta be 100, mm -hmm. 250 feet. And to throw yeah, from the no, top it's down? A, it's a walk, like it's a good one for practice, like not practice necessarily, but for just exercise. It's just, I don't know. I don't play enough disc golf anymore. I play too much golf, you know what I'm saying? Like real golf. I've been really on that kick. And I think it's because in my head, I feel like I hit a limit on disc golf. You know, I'm gonna get. I'm only gonna get this good, and any more. If I want to be any better, I have to actually put in way more work. I might have to have you uh, give me a starter package or some shitty discs. Oh, I got plenty. I know. I figure that's why. Why would I go get them from someone else? Yeah, yeah you no, got I plenty. got. I'll grab some before you leave. I got some in the garage in the thing out there. You can have. I've got this in there. I've got a closet full of discs. Those ones I don't even know. I just want some practice ones. No, that's what around. I'm saying. I got putters and all kinds of practice shit I can give you. Shit that's just random shit that I've been... I threw at one point and I don't like no more. It's not really worth anything, so I don't put it away. Because some of the discs are worth some money. I have at least two or three discs that are worth yeah. 250 bucks. The ones on the walls. No, those ones aren't worth shit. All the ones on the walls aren't worth anything. He's cut, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. All the other ones... Those ones that were shitter. I don't even know his name. Cutberto. It's literally Cutberto. Cutberto Gonzalez. What, what about Mad Hatter? I don't even know his name. <laughs> Mad Hatter. Oh, you talking about home dude? Uh, he got the, the hat. Friend? Yeah, he got yeah. the hat. Little short dude with a crazy. Dennis, crazy. isn't it? I don't know. I think it's Dennis. Every time I see him, he's always he's always been the Mad Hatter for twenty years. He went from two other hats, same type. Same type, yeah. He always wears that fucking crazy. Like he's the he's he's the character. Like I will admit, Lou knows some fucking characters, dude. <laughs> he knows some people. Like if he wrote a memoir, man, <laughs> you could make some movies off of some of the people he knows. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't be coming to my house. <coughs> no offense, but you watch this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. We've hit it a couple times. My initial thought is it's a six in the sense that it's better than basic stuff. Like most shit that people are going to give me, I'm going to go, wow, this actually tastes good. It's not as good as, it doesn't have even no uniqueness to it, so it's not a seven. That's how I, in my head, how I figure out which one's a six and a seven. If I'm going in a 10 scale, because a seven is impressive. Like if you get a seven, that means there's more than one flavor I can detect in the smoke. Well, With I'm, this, all I can taste is gas. Yeah, you know, I don't like fruit and I don't like haze, and it's neither one of them. So good with me. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's good. It's just it's not deadhead good. That's the thing. Deadhead has a little different thing to it. Okay, so this is one of them things where, as you can see, we're not just all of a sudden, it's getting kind of low. Steve likes to put out half joints too early. We didn't put this one out right away. We smoked it mostly down. Yeah. So it's at least it's appetizing enough to want to finish mostly. Not saying that we're going to go out and spend our last dollar and go, I got to buy the rest from that guy. Right, no. But it is. It's decent. Decent. Yeah. It's, I, 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 
I'm going to take the dispensaries would sell out probably. Yeah, I'm going to take the extra. I'm going to put it over here. That way, I can <laughs> smoke it later. Because <laughs> that's what I do. If I like stuff, I put it over here, and then I'll have a joint that's all the shit I like. All right, we'll end this one and go on to the next one. Super clean edge. <coughs> Alright, so yeah, that was one.